Okay, so this is volume 5 of a series of 10 videos explaining how to get along with uh, Camilo and how to uh, figure out a little bit of the interface. So basically let, last time we saw how to create content in a course. If you want to check that, check out the video volume 4 and you'll see all about it. And now we're going to go to the administration screen and what we're going to see today is how the blocks work in, in on this screen, how to change settings and how to check out the plugins. So the administration page is divided uh, into several blocks which depend a little bit about the configuration of your platform itself. So for example, usually I always have six blocks. Um, the users block that allows you to manage users obviously, the courses block, the portal block that is uh, contains the main configuration of the system, but also the addition of the home page, the global announcements and that kind of stuff. Um, and you have the sessions, uh, we, we called it course sessions now to make it a little bit clearer. Um, well, it's called course sessions or training sessions, but basically sessions are a way to Mm, limits the time of access to a specific course and reproduce a course several times uh, over time without having to multiply the resources the, on, on disk. Okay, so after those four, you usually don't have the two here. Um, I'm having them here because I'm on a development portal version, but usually you do have those two boxes to so Camilo.org and the version check block. Um, we are not going to focus on this all, uh, today, but if you want to create users, you just go here and add a user. If you want to create a course, you can go here and click uh, create a course. And if you want to create a session, you can click add a training session. All right. What we're going to see instead is the configuration settings section. So the configuration settings allow you to configure everything around and about your portal. So if you want, for example, to change the style of your portal in general, you can go to the this, this um, painter palette and you're going to be able to pick between uh, about 20 type of, uh, of visual styles. Uh, some of them are really similar to, to, the, to the initial one. Others are, uh, are slightly different. For example, this one is a is a bit uh, different. There's a small background for the title and that kind of stuff. And so you can also decide that you want to download one of these because you like it and you want to make some changes. And for example, you want to change the logo. So what will you you're gonna do in this case? And there's a video explaining that on on YouTube. You can just download this style download it with this button it will give you a link to download the file and then uncompress it put it rename the directory in which it stands and then edit the files inside that directory and you will find a file that's called header logo and this is the file that you want to to modify if you want to modify the logo and that's it and once you're done editing that style you just make sure you renamed it the, 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 the folder you just compress it again and then you come back here and you say new style sheet file you pick a name for your style sheet you browse you find a package and you upload it and that's it you have a new style available on your platform um, this is not uh, let's say the most complex part of, of Camilo you have a lot of settings here if you if you if we check them uh, you have, for example, here the, the general settings of the platform. You'll have something like uh, 60 to 80 options uh, that allow you to configure different stuff of the behavior of your portal. If you click on the course icon, uh, the course is green, the session is blue, so it's always the same icon everywhere. Um, you get a lot of options for the course itself as well. If you look at sessions, you get a lot of options, well, a little bit less here. 
the languages you can you can redefine languages and say for example that uh, the English is fine but there are some terms that you want to redefine what you can just define a, a second version of English that we will use for all your students and um, in this version you're gonna allow here the sub languages that's how to enable this option yes and then you're gonna save and then you can enter the here there is a link it's it's not that visible but uh, it, there's a link here and you can click it and here you can access all the list of languages that are available on your platform you can see that there are about 50 and you could say for example that English here you want to redefine it so you, you're gonna create a new language creative language from English and so it's gonna use English except for a few terms that you will redefine yourself okay um, so getting back to the options the settings you have um, the languages settings we just saw them the user settings which is basically how uh, all users are managed and that kind of stuff and you have the module settings and the module settings allow you to uh, enable a series of features that are not considered 100% uh, uh, stable or reliable because mostly some of them don't work with specific browsers for example uh, if you have Internet Explorer uh, lower than 9 then uh, you might have issues with some of the tools so we decided not to enable them by default but you can re-enable them here you can say pick yes and this will enable all these tools okay I'm not gonna see that uh, in particular right now but you can do that by yourself and reconfigure your platform then you have uh, the possibility to manage the the HTML editor uh, settings you have security options you have uh, tuning options that allow you to boost performance you have uh, the evaluations the assessments tool configuration that is global to the system so if you click on this one you can set some stuff that will only that will appear in, in all courses you have a time zone setting that uh, allow you to have students from all around the world and make sure that they know which at, at which time they have to deliver their task uh, you have reporting a search tool the style sheets that we already saw um, the templates and uh, plugins and the plugins is our next step so if I click on this one I'm gonna find a series of plugins that I can enable so in between those plugins there are uh, some interesting stuff like uh, shibboleth button Facebook button uh, cast the, they're all authentic authentication methods then you have the video conference uh, you have the possibility to sell courses to send SMS's to uh, review course legal agreements to well, well th th there are a lot of options um, you should probably check them make sure that uh, you do that before you launch it in production because some of these tick some of these uh, plugins have very important uh, effects and that's it for volume 5 of this series of 10 videos explaining how Camilo works and what it is. Uh, in volume 6, we're going to see a little bit more about managing users. Thank you for watching.